Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5, in module 4, we are working on lesson number 9. And that means that we are finding a fraction of a measurement and solving word problems. So let's take a look at three problems from tonight's homework. Uh, the first one problem I'm going to go to is 1B. They've set that up for us a little bit, and then I'll do 1D, and then we'll move on to parts of 3. I think 3A and 3B. So let's take a look at our question here. The directions for number one are pretty simple. Convert. Show your work using a tape diagram or an equation. The first one is done for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll let you read uh, 1A. And I'm going to go ahead and do 1B where they've kind of set it up for us. So let's see. They're asking us what is one-sixth of a foot. And they're asking us in inches. And so I see what they're doing here. So they say one-sixth of a foot. That is the same as one-sixth times one foot. All right. And then they know we need to be in inches, so they say, well, rather than saying 1 6 times 1 foot, let's say it's 1 6 times 12 inches, because that's actually the measurement, the unit that we're looking for. Once we get to that point, let's see, see if we can figure that out. Let's see, 1 6 of 12 inches. Well, that means that each of these segments, right, it's a foot, it's 12 inches, has been divided up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 segments. And I think that that means that each of these segments is going to be 2, right, because 12 divided by 6 is 2. And I think that means that our answer is going to be 2, right? Because we're only interested in one of those sections, one of those sixths of a foot. So I think our answer is going to be 2, 2 inches. Awesome. Let's see if we can do the same thing with 3 fifths of a meter. 3 fifths of a meter. So 3 fifths of a meter, I'm going to put the metric there, is the same as 3 fifths times 1 meter. All right, but we know we need to answer this question in centimeters, so let's go ahead and see if we can express that. Three-fifths times, let's see, 100 centimeters in a meter, so let's see, times 100 centimeters. Okay, that'll work. Um, so now, can we, do, can we simplify that problem? Well, let's see, I'm noticing one thing, which is that, um, that a 5 is a common factor to both this part of the numerator and to this part of the denominator. So I'm thinking we can go ahead and... Divide 100 by 5. Let's see, 100 divided by 5 would be, looks like 20. And 5 divided by 5 would just be 1. And now that leaves us with 3 times 20 centimeters, or 60 centimeters. 3 fifths of a meter equals 60 centimeters. Now we can, of course, draw that out as well. We could say that, hey, a meter is, we can do that. That's 100. We can say, hey, let's divide that up into 5 equal sections like that. We can say we're interested in these three of the five sections. This must be 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20, because that's a fifth of a meter. And hey, when we want to add up, oops, sorry, when we want to add up 20 plus 20 plus 20 for three fifths, that'll be 20, 40, 60. Hey, 60 centimeters. So we can do that with our tape diagram, but we can also do that with our equation where we substitute uh, the centimeter measurement, 100 centimeters, for what we knew was one meter. And again, you guys will use your reference materials as well along the way. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem. In fact, I'll do a couple of parts of part three, but I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to leave some of the fun for you here. So let's take a look at 3A and B. Three, uh, at the market, Ms. Wynn bought three-fourths a pound of grapes and five-eighths a pound of cherries. How many ounces of grapes did Ms. Wynn buy? An ounces of grapes. So she bought, Ms. Wynn bought, three-fourths of a pound. So three-fourths times one pound. Okay, and that's the same as three-fourths times, let's see, a pound is how many ounces? I have to go to our reference materials. Uh, 16, 16 ounces times 16 ounces. We abbreviate ounces with OZ. Uh, let's see, so three-fourths times 16. Well, okay, so I'm again noticing that three times 16 divided by four, that I'm noticing that we can, we have a common factor here, right? We could divide this number and this number, this number in the numerator and this part of the denominator by four. So let's go ahead and try that. When we divide 16 by four, we get four, and we divide four by four, we get one, and now we have just three times four, or 12. 12 ounces. So 12 ounces, three-fourths of a pound of grapes is the same as 12 ounces of grapes. Awesome. I'll leave you to write the sentence there. Now let's go ahead and look at uh, part B. Part B, how many ounces of cherries did you buy? Well, five-eighths a pound of cherries, so five-eighths times one pound, we have the same process going on, is the same as five-eighths times, let's see, six, we said 16 ounces, 
equals 5 times 16 divided by 8. And that's that magical point again where I see, oh, both of these are divisible. Both of these have 8 as a factor. So I can divide 16 by 8 to get 2. And I can divide 8 by 8 to get 1. And now I have a much simpler 5 times 2 is 10 ounces. 10 ounces. So 5 eighths of a pound of cherries is the same as 10 ounces of cherries. You know, now that I've got those two done, I think you've got a leg up in working on problems C or parts C and part D, as well as other problems in tonight's homework. So best of luck to you, and I'll see you again next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems. Take care.